गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर शिफालिया साठी फ्रॉम मुजफ्फरनगर मेडिकल कॉलेज इज गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट पेपर ऑन द टॉपिक रेडियोलॉजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ ट्यूबरस क्लॉसिस इंट्रोडक्शन द ट्यूबरस क्लॉसिस कॉम्प्लेक्स इज अ न्यूरोटीनियस सिंड्रोम कैटराइज बाय द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ नॉन मेलिग्नेंट हमाटोमस एंड न्यू प्लास्टिक लीजन इन द ब्रेन हार्ट स्किन किडनी लंग्स एंड अदर ऑर्गन्स इट इज अ जेनेटिकली डिटर्माइंड मल्टी सिस्टम डिसऑर्डर द ऑर्गन्स मोस्ट कॉमनली इन्वॉल्व आर द ब्रेन स्किन किडनी लंग रेटिना एंड हार्ट इट इज द सेकेंड मोस्ट कॉमन इनहेरिटेड ट्यूमर सिंड्रोम आफ्टर एन एफ वन इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इज बोन मील्स डिसीज द इंसिडेंस इज वन इन टेन थाउजेंड टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इट इज अस ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेट डिसीज इटोलॉजी ऑफ द ट्यूबरस क्लोसिस फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द केसेज आर इनहेरिटेड एंड फॉलो एन ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेट पैटर्न वेल द अदर फिफ्टी परसेंट आर डी नोवो इन म्यूटेशन टू सेपरेट जीन्स आर म्यूटेटेड और डिलेटेड दैट इज टी एस सी वन एंड टी एस सी टू द टी एस सी वन इज लोकेटेड ऑन क्रोमोजोम नाइन नाइन क्यू थर्टी फोर एंड एनकोर्स प्रोटीन हेमाटे एंड टी एस सी टू इज लोकलाइज ऑन क्रोमोजोम सिक्सटीन पी थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री एंड एनकोर्स ट्यूबरेन प्रोटीन म्यूटेशन इन आदर जीन आर आइडेंटिफाइड इन सेवेंटी नाउ वील सी द डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया ऑफ द ट्यूबरस क्लोसिस कॉम्प्लेक्स द मेजर फीचर्स आर हाइपोमिलानोटिक मैक्यूल्स दैट इज थ्री और मोर मैक्यूल्स शैग्रीन पैच फेशियल एंजियो फाइब्रोमा एडिनोस वेशियम और अंगुल और पेरियोंगल फाइब्रोमास मल्टीपल रेटिनल नॉड्यूलर हमाटोमास कॉटिकल ट्यूबर्स सब एपेंडामल नॉड्यूल सब एपेंडामल जैंसर एस्ट्रोसाइटोमा कार्डिक रेबडोमायोमा सिंगल और मल्टीपल लिम्फ एंजियो मायोमेटोसिस एंड रील एंड एंजियो मायोलाइपोमा so here are the some of the cutaneous manifestations and the in the radiological manifestations in the cutaneous these are the hypomelanotic uh, macules these are the chagrin patch on the lumbar region these are the facial angiofibroma these are the coenant tumors in the periphery this is here it is only in the fingers this uh, is a mri brain t uh, player image so uh, in the uh, t2 and the flare images we see the cortical and the subcortical white matter region some hyper intensities along with the nodularities in the ventricular margin next this is a uh, uh, this uh, suggest of sub subependymal nodule next is the near the foramen of monro and there is uh, there is a lesion hyper 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 dense lesion and uh, there is uh, associated ventricular megaly suggestive of subependymal giant cell astrocytoma next are the minor features in the minor features these are uh, minor features are multiple pits in dental enamel gingival fibromas hematomatous rectal polyps bone cyst cerebral white matter radial migration lines retinal ac acromic patch multiple renal cysts non renal hematomas and confetti skin lesions these are the confetti skin lesions shown for uh, now uh, the cases i have uh, seen are in in my department first case is of a 24 years male presented to medicine department with a complaint of seizure seizure since 2 to 3 years on further examination patient had facial angiofibromas on the face nose bilateral cheek and back of the neck this was the patient on the face uh, that is on the nose and in the cheek area the patient had facial angiofibroma and on the nape of the neck also then the mri of the patient was performed and this is a t2 weighted and uh, and this is a flare sequence on the t2 and the flare sequence there are multiple ill defined t2 flare hyper intense lesions of variable sizes and it is noted in bilateral cerebral hemisphere but the temporal lobes are spared so this type of cortical tubers in the same patient um, in the ventricular margin also there was nodularity was seen that is multiple tiny nodules along the bilateral lateral ventricles and posterior horn of right lateral ventricle likely suggestive of subependymal nodules the second case witnessed was of a 20 years male came with a complaint of pain in the lumbar region on examination the patient had papules on her nails this these are the uh, fibro sub uh, periungal fibromas that is coenant tumors in his nails then the um, the patient came for the uh, complaint of lumbar pain in lumbar region so the uh, ct abdomen was performed this is a plain scan in the plain scan we see, can see the nodular soft tissue lesions in bilateral kidneys that this is the left this is the right and uh, these these were multiple on further the contrast study was performed and in the arterial phase we see a heterodense lesion in the right kidney and similar uh, lesions were seen in the left kidney that is bilateral kidney was involved 
The same lesion was seen in the venous phase the, the, uh, that is multiple mod, uh, moderately defined heterogeneously enhancing nodular soft tissue lesions with uh, fat tissue attenuation areas within is seen. Some of the lesions were also exophytic like this. So uh, now the next case is case 3 of a 14 year female with, uh, came with a complaint of scalp swelling. In the past history the patient had one episode of seizure in childhood and the family history that is uh, she had two uh, siblings but they were normal. The patient came with a complaint of the uh, uh, scalp swelling in the occipital region. The, facia, uh, the patient also had facial angiofibromas and there was a ash leaf macule in the uh, calf. The NCCT head was performed because uh, for the swelling. So in the NCCT head we can see a oval shaped heterodense lesion in the scalp region in occipital region. Further the MRI was performed uh, in the MRI we can see a T2 irregular heterogeneous T2 hypo intense lesion in the scalp region in the occipital region. This is a rare cutaneous manifestation of tuberous sclerosis and this is likely to be scalp fibroma. Next the patient uh, further study uh, in the further study of the NCCT head these are the multiple calcified nodules in the periventricular region and it is subependymal in distribution suggestive of subependymal nodules a radiological manifestation of tuberous sclerosis. These are the similar lesions, calcified nodules. Further, the MRI was performed, and in the MRI, T1, T2, and flare images, uh, we can see the uh, irregular margins of the in the of the ventricles. So these are the sub, uh, multiple subependymal variable sized lesions that are appearing iso intense on T1 and hypo intense on T2 and flare images. The similar lesion are shown here and these are showing blooming artifact on the this is the SWI sequence and it is showing ble, uh, blooming artifact which is suggestive of calcification so these nodules were subependymal nodules or hematomas. Next few of the subependymal nodules were uh, measuring more than one centimeter so these are subependymal hematomas so further study uh, further follow up can be performed and to see if these uh, hematomas are uh, progressing towards the subependymal giant cell astrocytoma. Similar in the in the same patient, we uh, there was found that in the bilateral uh, regions there were T2 flare hyper intense radial bands extending from the posterior aspect of the lateral ventricle up to the cortex, likely the white matter heterotopia, which is a feature of uh, tuberous sclerosis. So in my uh, study, we found that the subependymal nodules. Subependymal uh, sub giant cell astrocytoma can also be seen if it the subependymal nodules progress. Uh, the one of my patient had renal angiomyolipoma. So in the subependymal nodules, the tubules represent cortical glioneuronal hematomas and consist of focal distribution in cellular organization and morphology, which is extending to the subcortical white matter. Calcification was seen in the tubers. The tubers are triangular shaped and with the apex uh, oriented inward towards the ventricle. The subependymal giant cell astrocytoma arises from the subependymal nodules present in the ventricular wall in the patient with tuberous sclerosis, which was multilobulated, and the epidermal lining over the subependymal giant cell astrocytoma was intact, making the CSA seeding very highly unlikely. The renal angiomyolipoma is the most common uh, fat-containing lesions in the kidney. It involves the cortex and the uh, and uh, there was microscopic fat in tubular sclerosis the lesions are larger than isolated AML and uh, the characteristic is the multiple bilateral involvement in the tuberous sclerosis thank you